Okay. Which is a strong pick. He's a, yeah. a very, very powerful character, big hitboxes. Very, very strong hitboxes and can confirm nice KOs. Yeah. And, you know... And is fast enough to save his teammate if needed. Exactly, yeah. He can close down distance in, you know, heartbeat. <laughs> so, uh, jumping into our next uh, doubles game here. Super Semi and Skipper versus Lucky and Reiner. The Dutch versus the Germans. On town and city right here. That's going to be the battlefield for today right now. And it seems already Skipper is getting himself in a little bit of a trouble situation. Just standing between the two players. Super Semi keeping his distance right now. Yeah. But Skipper shielding actually a lot of attacks right now. He hasn't had that much percent for how close he was to the rest of their team. Yeah. I think one thing uh, I was having, a, again, to just get a dis discussion about this in doubles, like a lot of players who play with projectile characters, you know, are always saying, oh, it's quite, di quite difficult yeah. to play my, my character in doubles because there's someone else to worry about and someone else you can you can mess up. So, uh, interesting to see that Semi, this, this is why I was asking if you're and still playing And the forward smash, men. actually. <laughs> yeah? yeah that, this, As this you're is just talking. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's fine, yeah. That's like, crumb. That's crumb stuff. We, yeah. As we were saying, he just gets in there and gets a big hitbox. There's the soaring slash out of shield. Yeah. That is like, what is it, like 20 odd percent, 26%? I yeah. think if you do it, 26, like, I believe, yeah. Every single hit, scary yeah. stuff, yeah. I think the, the most important Look thing at that, to, there you go. Yeah. Back throw into Nair, into forward yeah. air. Beautiful Ooh, stuff. Oh, another back air right there. Super Semi Skipper both down a sock right there. You were talking about the projectile characters in doubles, and you say it's harder to hit, just hit your opponents as it is easy to hit your teammate. But it also works the other way around. Of course, doubles, there's a lot more stuff to take care of, uh, to, to watch out for. All so right. projectiles do have a higher percent of actually confirming into something or, or even hitting the opponent. Yeah. It's not just a projectile you, you should be worried about. There's a lot more on doubles. Oh. Both Skipper and Sammy taking a stock right there, making it even, but they do have a little bit of a percentage disadvantage. Skipper yeah, right now. He's going for a very deep edge guard here. Does get the uh, the now. Is that going to be another? Charizard be. is still oh. right there. Ooh, and oh, goes underneath the stage. That's going to be that one there. Very nice edge guard. I feel like a little bit of, uh, I don't, I don't want to say like of an error, but. Um, Impatience. Yeah, a little but bit of impatience right there. Lucky though, these edge guards, this, the team combo is happening so nicely from the German team. Just Lucky being an all around presence in the air, Chrome controlling the stage, and then Lucky waiting in the air for someone to pop up and finish them off or just add a lot of percent. I think that's the combo they're going for as oh. he gets forward smashed by his teammate. Super Semi actually SDing. A, a yeah. weird, a weird uncommon situation for him. Oh, yeah, I couldn't. Oh, crikey, O'Reilly! <laughs> Goodbye, Squirtle. Yeah, I couldn't quite see what happened to Semi, but he was there, then he wasn't. Yeah, but um, he just went really low and didn't saw him recover at all. That was a uh, a um. <laughs> Really quick. <laughs> Exem exemplary play in terms of like the team. You were talking yeah. about how Pitt was just a presence in the air. So consistently there was just an ability for them to just, it wasn't just a one hit throw or anything yeah. else. It was always something else that was coming out of it, which is just, uh, you know, multiplicative in terms of how much it, it's just racking up the percentage yeah. that, that you're dealing. Um, so, and I think yeah. also Town of City uh, helps a little bit with that. Of course, Pitt has a lot of room to stay just in the air, just above ground level, yeah. so that he can just control the platforms. And then when Chrome controls all ground, it's uh, really hard to take stage control. Yeah, and I think as well, like, you know, Chrome's hitboxes that he does throughout are large, you know, yeah. these wide swinging arcs that allow him to punish, you know, or like pressurize from below platforms as well. Like, short hop up and just kind of get these big hits, yeah. catching rolls with the back air, all these kind of things. Um, those platforms really helped out, and I wonder if they're going to take away those platforms, even if it does help out from them. It, this is the thing with with uh, stage picks and counter yeah. picks. It's not just about choosing what's good for you, but what can you take away from your opponent? Yeah. Just what the, you don't want your opponent to have all the, the cards in hand. And we're going to Kowals right there. It does seem to be uh, a little bit of a better stage. Pit, of course, can still control the air, but let's see how he gets in the air from here. A grab there. Tries to go for the, uh, a rising back air. Doesn't connect that one. Distance from Lucky, he tries to go out. This is really good edge guarding. It's a lot of pressure and it keeps you yeah. on your toes. Skipper is just having a lot of trouble coming back to the stage. He's always having someone in his neck right there as soon as he leaves the ledge. Yeah. And, you know, this, uh, not really able to get all of. Ooh, all tries to get the fourth smash right there, but sadly, Semi is there to interrupt him or just even uh, get the throw out too early. Yeah. But if that would have hit, that would have been the stock at a ridiculously low percent. Nice dash attack wasn't enough to take it. Well, I said no, nice. It was on the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, um, trying to punish the grab, but um, yeah, it didn't come out. He doesn't want a crumb to do anything with it. Like Lucky was just standing there having Skipper in his hand, and that's a scary situation because you saw earlier that Lucky or uh, Runner are just waiting for each other to get in positions and then throw. So you yeah. need to act really quickly. And also what I'm noticing as well that, 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 that the German team are doing, you normally when you see them get off stage and they'll wait and they'll just be there. We were talking about how quickly uh, like Crom can close down space. 
he'll push his opponent off and just go to the other side to be in a much stronger 2v1 position. Um, and I just see how much they're just racking up the, the not just the percentage, but the pressure yeah. in those moments. Ooh, Perry ends down a smash right there. That's going to be it for Semi. And now Skipper is all alone against two opponents, but both of them are off stage right now. Krom and it, both players actually at a high percent. The German team needs to watch out what they're doing. Jarzer does have that fast <gasps> up smash. Almost gets the spike right there. And the young Link Nair taking care of all of them. The entire German team come by that one little boot. Yeah, sometimes it's all, all, all you need. Krom, though, as you can see, really extending as, as much as he can. These combos very nice, getting that for that back air there. Just to extend Ooh. a little bit more. Lucky will recover. Very strong recovery, obviously. But um, but it's it's he needs to, uh, he he oh. was forced to stay off stage a lot. So Reiner is forced to into a cornering position, and then it's re it does take a little bit of time for in order to get them uh, back together. Yeah. But right now they are together, and the pressure it just riles up after that. Even if. Lucky is in a 1v1 scenario and he's looking at someone. Yeah. He'll do an option that's going to be affecting the person right right, right behind him. And nice. they forward smash nice. right there. Sammy really have, didn't have any choice because he was charging the, the, uh, the bow right there. He would have hit Skipper. No way, uh, no other way. Good, strong stuff from both teams. Very even game between these two. Same stocks, roughly same percentage. But uh, I mean, for the most part, I've been a lot more. I mean, this isn't, this isn't to take away from the red team, but I've been a lot more impressed with just generally how the minute by minute, you know, synergy is happening for the yeah. German team right now. Semi and Skipper are finding their moments great. You know, Boomerang into forward air to get those KOs. They're getting the KOs they need, but, you know, Ooh, can they up. see it off? Oh, oh and the spike lucky. right there. Excellent job right there from Lucky. That wasn't luck, that was pure skill. <laughs> I think the thing that I like the most about this set is just how pressuring each team is while the other is off stage. To just add the ledge throwing moves out or just making sure you're not going to have the easiest oh, time. Ooh, almost a getting a shield crack. Just a little m and right there on Squirtle. He really needs to watch out what he's doing. He can't afford to break his shield. That would mean the game right there. Mm. Ooh, Misty Ford smash, but Lucky is there to hurt uh, Rinder just a little bit. That was very nice. The uh, first hit of, uh, of Falling Fair into down tilt. Couldn't get the follow-up afterwards, however. Semi was doing some good stuff there. Interesting. Throws out the boomerang, utilizes it. No? Lucky right to hang around oh. against Skipper and gets the stop right there. And now Super Semi is all alone against two players who are very eager to throw him off stage and keep him right there. He needs to take one of them out, or else it's going to be a throw combo yet again. We saw him going for them while they're both alive, but now there's only one left. And you see Lucky fishing for those grabs. He wants something out of that. Yeah, I think he's just aware that, you know, there's a very simple um, setup for, you know, big hits from, from the grab, specifically of Pit. Yeah, of course, Pit, of course, not having... He does have a good smash attacks, but they're not the strongest, not as strong as Chrome. Semi, at least. Semi though, is doing a great Ooh. job of dealing with both of them here, using all of his projectiles and his awareness to deal with both team, to both of, of his opponents. Really solid stuff right now. Now it's a 1v1 scenario. Semi here, you'd think he'd have the advantage just in terms of, you know, I guess experience, but, you know, what can Lucky bring out? High percentage, he needs to be careful for anything big or anything, like, generally. Um, consistent from Semi. I think we're looking for the Nair. There we go. <laughs> As I said it. That's one of the safest kill options Young Ling has. That Nair is a very strong move, and you can just throw it out. It's decently safe on shield. As we see Super Semi taking the second game right there. Yeah, Semi's awareness was really, really yeah. strong in that 1v2. He was, you know, throwing out. He knock someone off stage and just throw out like an option for them and an, an, an immediate yeah. option behind. So there was always something at least keeping him somewhat covered. He was allowing himself time yeah, to you, start building his thought process as he approached every situation. He was just not over committing at all. Because if, if, if he would have gone all in against Pit, that would have been the end. Because one bad situation off stage and a couple of arrows, that would have been the end. Yeah. I think he was very, very lucky to get the up tilt, you know, on an unshielded Krom to get yeah. that KO. But, you know, did, did a great defensive job of evading the grab from Pit as well. Because that's one of those things where you're just going to, you know, up smash yeah. or whatever coming out from from Krom's going to be it. But um, looking at this, the question is, uh, it looks like they're going to be sticking with the same characters. I didn't see the stage pick, though. I was... Uh, I'm not completely sure. I think they would have been Town and City by now. I don't think they want to go back to that. Mm. Carlos seems to be working a lot more in their favor. So let's see what Lucky and Reiner are picking. Yeah. Onus is on them to take that back. We're going to Lilat, actually. 
much to the chagrin of many viewers, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's a stage, get used to it. Uh, <laughs> it exists. Ooh, missing the RB right there, getting punished with an up smash right there. Yeah. See, that's Ooh. very nice. Again, you can see Semi and Skipper now really doing a lot more of a, uh, of, of a collaborative effort. Yeah. You know, just being able to extend each other's work and just, again, keep that percentage just ticking over. The Lucky was off stage for it there for so long, so they had all the time in the world to punish Reiner for that. Even though Lucky now is now the per the person with the most percent of the game. Yeah. Just holding his opponents in shield again, giving his uh, teammate time to breathe. His Ooh, Ooh, good water gun right there from Skipper, pushing Krom off the edge, not allowing him to recover. Then you really need to watch out for those. Ooh, a little bit of miscommunication right there. Missing the forward smash, but an upper, I believe, is going to do it right there. Lucky still is at kill percent for both players. Super Semi, meanwhile, still at 61%. Oh, Almost hit Skipper right there. It wouldn't have, ma wouldn't have mattered much, just a little bit of percentage, but still, it's... Uh, it's an extension of disadvantage for him, then. Yeah. There's and a Nair, <laughs> just, just a quick, simple Nair. Again, another, another soaring slash, keeping Rhino safe a little bit, but... Or Rhino. Um, Side B gets both Lucky and Super oh, Semi. Another and one, Lucky keeps getting those down air spikes. Ooh, now Rhino in a bad situation. Skipper has to, uh, didn't charge the water gun right now, but he doesn't need to. Just a little push is all that it's needed for him to close out the stock in that situation. Ooh, mm. No punish right there from the throw. Squirtle with those big, with those fast moves should be able to punish that, but there's no punish right there. Ooh, dash stack to interrupt the jab. Good job right there from Super Semi. Ryder is staying a lot more passive actually in this game. We saw him in the, the second and the first game just running all around the stage, just looking what he can do. But right now, he needs to be careful about what he is doing. Skipper at his last stock though. Yeah. It's it much closer than it seems because there's a high percentage on both of the, of the blue team members. That oh, one is going to be the oh, 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 the down air right there. <laughs> Getting that timing just right. And Semi confirms that one. They have a one stock lead. And Semi's not too high up. If there's a good edge guard coming out again from Lucky. Oh, oh. and the footstool. That, it is still pit, so he yeah. is able to make it back to the stage. But that's still some time you can waste. I think in this game, the, the the teamwork of Super Semi and Skip is really showing off. They had some big combos leading into each other. Ooh, Boomerang that right there. Like, like, like that. Just, that was up, up, up to 55% now for Reiner. That's, yeah, I mean, I was going to say, like, I was uh, saying earlier, nice up B just having just Ooh, a point to roll in. Lucky tried to up smash Semi's uh, up B, but it, sat, it clanked with each other. So Semi's still not dying at 180 for 48%. Uh, Reiner tried to get forward smash again, but that's not enough. And now the forward tilt is going to rob Semi of a second stock. All players now at their last stock. But Reiner, ooh, Lucky good with a great edge guard right once more. And now just, we're in the same situation as game two. Yeah, but just a little bit of a worse percentage to deal with. There we go. Ooh, okay, got out, out of that one. Uh, cool. Still, yeah, into immediate Nair, gets a run up, trying to find this down there once again that we've seen him do quite well, just pressurizing with those Nairs once again, going up. This is good work now from both players. Semi needs to get rid of Rhino if possible, he needs to get into that position. Yeah. He needs to be that's, careful. That's his prime target for right now. Even though Lucky is just a big deal, a big thing, something to do with, Rhino is the one who is going to kill this percent. Down Ooh. smash at the ledge, just caught because those frames were. The iframes just running out. Had, had, to, had to drop the shield. Ooh, run and up. the run oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's a good match right there. Amazing teamwork right there from Lucky and Rhino, who just, when they saw Semi all alone, just they, they did, they pull all the brakes. They're just coming on yeah. to you. They're not stopping until you're off the stage and down your last stock. Indeed, indeed. Good stuff there, though, from Rhino and Lucky. Uh, I, I think the edge guarding specifically from that team was mm -hmm. really, really strong. Definitely going out of their way to always extend as much as they could um, and pushing it obviously just to the limits. Obviously, um, teamwork was uh, yeah. just in abundance from both teams. And it, I think it came a little bit more alive towards the end of the uh, set yeah. for um, Skipper and Semi. But I think for throughout, throughout.